Hey everybody, welcome to my channel. Today I'm going to show you how to transplant hydroponic peppers into soil. I've done these videos a bunch of times before, but um, maybe the details weren't clear, so people were still asking a ton of questions. So today I'm going to try to um, detail everything and make it so that uh, you can do this uh, on your own. So here I have a pretty good sized pepper plant. I've been trimming these and cutting it back because it's it's outgrowing the the space. Today we're going to remove this and put it into soil. And the removal process is going to be very tough because you see that all of those roots are going to be very difficult to take out without damaging some. So we're going to try our best. Uh it's we, I may cut the, uh, the, the net cup here so that it would allow me to remove it easily. So you see, it's very hard to kind of remove right now because the roots are all tangled up in there. So uh, let me go ahead and put the camera down and I'm going to show you how I do this exactly. All right, guys. So here it is. This is going to take a bit of effort to... Uh, to remove the plant so uh, let's see how I'm gonna do this without uh, damaging too many of the roots try to remove anything that's stuck to the plants the roots and then kinda like work your way and push it through kind of twist it like this so that it uh, it'll reduce the size all right so it's removed and you can plant this into the soil if you like but uh, I kind of want to not restrict the roots from growing. So what I'm going to do is cut the net cup here. So the Aragorn net cup, it kind of connected at the bottom. So try to find the little bottom piece there and just cut that part to separate them. And then what we're going to do is cut the cup here and even if you cut the net cup you can still use it I'll show you the tiny roots are not too much of a problem if you damage them but the the large roots you you want to keep that intact as possible all right so there it is so what i'm going to do now is we're going to trim the plant a little bit because if you plant this, uh, it's going to shock the plant a little bit, uh, or uh, maybe a lot. But I don't want the top part anyway. I want the plant to start over. So I'm just going to trim some of this off. You don't have to do this. Um, but uh, if you want the plant to kind of start over and produce again, then you should try this. Okay, there it is. So let's go ahead and put this into our soil. All right, guys, I got my soil prepared here. And uh, the soil you should use is anything that is really soft and it can drain well. So if you have like some potting mix, that would work because those really drain a lot better than the, um, the clay soil. So try to stay away from the, 
the clay heavy soil because those would just hold water for too long and it could damage the, the roots of the plants. So potting mix and uh, you can add some perlite and all that stuff. Don't fertilize uh, too much right now because all you want the, the plant to do is recover. So um, let's go ahead and put it in. So here is my plant you see everything has been trimmed but there are still young leaves coming out because those are the ones that sprouted when i cut it back and normally the roots shouldn't be like this because they should be spread out in the pot so uh the re recovery process is going to take time because of this so um you want to like dig a hole as deep as you can down there and then kind of spread the roots around so i'll show you Okay, it's as simple as that. And uh, right now the temperature is very cool where I am. So it's around like 70s, the low 70s, which is perfect. Uh, a little bit cooler would be good because um, you don't want the plant to be exposed to full sun that can harm it because it just came out of um, hydroponic. So you have to keep it away from direct sunlight for at least a week so I'm gonna keep it under my patio where it gets nice warm morning Sun but then the heat of the afternoon I won't allow this plant to get any Sun it, it was just gonna get shade so uh, also watering you need to water more uh, than usual because this just came out of hydroponic so the roots are still getting adjusted so it does need more water uh, than you would normally give your pepper plants um, but do not drown it for example do not let it sit in you know like puddle of water for a long time allow the water to drain but it the water the soil needs to be a little bit wetter than usual so let me go ahead and and water it right now okay you want a thorough water so that it it'll get every part of the soil nice and wet Okay, and uh, that should drain through and uh, now we're just going to keep it right here under my patio where it's, uh, it's nice and shaded and that should be good. So um, I will come back in a week or so once the plant got adjusted and then um, I'll show you. Okay guys, and as for the net cup that we cut here, it's fine. You can still use it. You see that here? So if you put it in the circle like this, there's nothing wrong with it see it'll still work so you it's fine to cut those all right guys it has been exactly five days and there is some progress so first you would notice that a lot of these younger shoots kind of dried up and that is normal that is because this plant was indoor and it sprouted the, the young shoots already and then we put it outside so the wind the heat and all that stuff with the sun and stuff they will uh, do this so you're gonna see a little uh, dried up shoots and all that stuff which is fine because it will uh, put out new ones you see there those are the new ones and the one that you saw if you if you go back to early in the video you notice that there were some greens around here but now it's dead that's 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 normal so don't worry and uh, if you look towards the bottom you will see the the some of the younger shoots they're actually coming back like that one right there and here so that is a good sign the plant is slowly recovering um, in five days uh, don't expect too much just make sure that uh, it's not dead <laughs> and as you can see the soil at the top may look dry but at the bottom you see how moist uh, it is and that is good so um, 
don't overwater it and put the plant in like a puddle as I mentioned just give it a thorough water and then allow the water to drain and the roots will slowly convert into soil roots and then this plant will grow so I will come back again later once there's more progress and I will give you guys an update alright guys here it is 12 days later and look at all these progress lots of leaves are coming out so everything is looking good and after about seven to eight days you can actually put this under um, direct sun for a while it should be fine but now it's been 12 days you can literally put it under the sun the whole entire day if you need to but i i have it here under my patio which gets about uh, four to five hours of direct light and they're doing fine and remember guys the important thing is to keep your moisture in the soil so um, that's what will help the plant recover but do not drown the plant just make sure that it's nice and moist moistened and uh, you know kind of like this if it's too wet then it will be a problem so uh, we'll be back again once it's the once the plant makes more progress, and I will give you guys an update. All right, guys, it has been exactly three weeks now, and the plant has fully recovered. So now it's starting to grow. So um, as you can see, it's pretty easy to do. Uh, just condition the soil in the beginning, keep it out of the sun, and uh, after three weeks. It should be fully recovered and now you can put it under the sun uh, full sun all day if you like and um, you can treat it as a normal plant you can fertilize you can do all that so in another month this plant is going to be really large and it will produce normally and because of uh, all these trimming that we've done there are going to be more shoots as you can see here shoots are going to be like everywhere so this plant it's going to be a very full plant and it will also produce very early because um it's basically like a a uh, an older plant so um second generation plants like if you take them inside over the winter and then bring them back out in the second year they produce a lot more than the first year so uh this plant will produce probably more than the first time if it recovers and get back to normal like it was before so anyway that is it guys i hope this would be uh, very helpful for you in your project and that uh transplanting from soil uh, from hydroponic to soil can be done very easily and uh, you can see the results right there all right guys that is it um i hope you enjoy the video if you have any questions or comments please leave it below and thank you so much for watching